I've never been arrested. Yes, I've been questioned by the police, then quickly released when they realized that the person that they were looking for wasn't me. When I was younger, I once stole a bag of chips from the convenience store. I could have paid for it, but I don't know, I was young and dumb. I get a physical every year. Never had a disease. I don't have any health issues. Actually, my doctor says that I'm pretty healthy, though I could lose a few pounds. I've had relationships in the past where I cheated. I've said things that hurt even when I didn't mean it. There were days when I failed to give my best. And I don't even know why I'm telling you all of this. I guess if I were to meet my death by violent means, these are some of the things that you would read as the media tries to explain why that happened to me. Because there are some who still find it hard to believe that innocent people are harmed and killed by the police. These same people claim that systemic racism doesn't exist, but can't seem to explain any of the statistics when it comes to justice, education, banking, housing, employment, carding, interactions, and death by police. They say that black skin is a fetish. Maybe that's why some cops are so quick to discharge, get hard when they hold a steel or kneel on necks, hiding behind badges that sure do protect, imagine. An innocent interaction or street check can leave my daughter without her father, imagine. Fighting for my life might just be the thing that ends it. We all want our 15 minutes of fame, but will you have to watch me being killed to remember my name and my next? I'm looking over one shoulder, fearing the police. Over the other, I'm fearing a brother who looks just like me, and all I want is to live. But living in fear is an oxymoron. For as long as you fear for your life, you have no chance to actually live it, and I am livid. How can being alive feel like dying at the same time? It's like being born black is a suicide mission. It's being told that you're free while in a wallless prison. It's being forced to fight for your rights even when you're the victim. The air is thick with hatred and I can't breathe. There will be a day when I am nothing more but than a memory and I wonder how you'll remember me as the elderly, a tragedy, a life lost casually, a casualty in this war for my humanity. You see, the world loves my music, my slang, my culture, my dance just not me. And what am I supposed to do with that? Maybe the real oxymoron is me trying to figure out how to live while black.